Good morning, Dirt Medic here. Now I am in the Kroom Forest, and if you are hiking, or driving for that matter, from Silver Lake, and I'm standing on Kroom Rydal Road, and right here is the Florida Trail. So if you're coming up the Florida Trail from Silver Lake, or coming up northbound from Silver Lake, and you come to the Florida Trail here, go ahead and park your car right here. And let's go for a hike. I want to show you something really neat. Yeah, by the way, today's Saturday and the uh, crew motocross is in full swing, so you're going to hear that buzzing in the background. Okay, we're going to cross the rails to trails. But I don't want you to think of this as the rails to trails. This was the old Atlantic Coastline Railway. So we cross that. And what I want you to notice is that you have plenty of this granite rock that keeps on going. Now the old horse trail used to cut right through here. And this is where I want you to go down. We're going to cut through here. And you're going to start noticing that there are railroad ties. You're also going to notice that there are raised beds. Now why would there be separate raised beds from the main trail, which used to be the main railroad? And as you come back further, you're going to find coal slag. Lots of it. And I'm sure as we come along here, we'll come across some coal. Lots of coal, too. Which, if uh, you need a fresh supply of coal for your kids' uh, Christmas stocking, uh, here we go. There's some coal. There's plenty of it here. Anyhow, more coal, coal slag, raised beds. I found evidence of at least three separate raised beds and rail lines aside from the main line, which is now the rails to trails. Okay, my theory is this was a switch yard. We are maybe a quarter mile north of where the east-west Atlantic coastline crossed the north-south Atlantic coastline. So two separate routes crossed. And this right here, you can see where it kind of widens out, was a uh, switchyard. So simply where they would have stored cars or where they would have said, okay, this car is going to go on that route. So they would have stopped it, dumped it off the train, and moved on to a different train. Plenty of piles of uh, railroad ties. This, by the way, here is a plate for tying the rail down to the railroad tie. You'll notice the square holes. The square holes match the railroad spikes. Again, just tons and tons of this of this uh, slag. Now, the slag is essentially the unburned coal. And they would have had to have removed that from the inside of the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically the inside of the burner, because if that built up enough, it would have made a, uh, it would have made an insulation on the inside of the boiler and it would have made the burning in, inefficient. So anyhow, we'll keep walking. And there goes a group of bicyclists enjoying the Saturday morning. By the way, another beautiful day to be out hiking. Probably in the upper 70s, low humidity today. And again, what day is not beautiful to be out here in the, in the woods hiking? 
Alright, now this little section here seems to widen out a little bit more. I'm going to pass it. And I think I might have passed it. Anyhow, there's a, I found a large pipe out here too. Well, that's interesting. Let's see if we can lighten that up. Not sure what that is, but it's a uh, hunk of steel. Obviously taken off of something. Anyhow, lots to find out here. Lots of little interesting doodads. keep going I'm going to show you something else that's interesting. Oh, here's what I was talking about earlier. All this right in here that you're seeing, all that black, all that is coal. Another chunk of metal. Okay, here's the foundation to a building. Not a very large one. But a building nonetheless. And it seems a turtle, or something else, has dug out for us and shown us that this kind of goes deep. So whatever this was had a really deep foundation. So I'm not sure what this was. Okay, behind it is man-made and there's a hole back there that's dug out. So we're not gonna walk back there, just take my word for it. I'm gonna walk back out show you one last cool thing. I'm going to save the best for last. So again, this would have been the Atlantic Coast Line, and that's two words. Railroad, which operated in the beginning of the 1900s. Alright, crossing the Hernando Rails Trails. Here we've got some bicycles coming. Okay, here we've got some foundation stones. Some concrete foundation with some huge threads. My guess, as well as the guess of several other people, is that this would have been the foundation to a water tower. If you've got steam engines, you've got to have a way to put water in them. So. Water tower would be the way to do it. So we're thinking these, uh, this tower would have been part of the switch yard. So here we have it, right here in Croom. And again, I am just uh, maybe a quarter mile to half mile south of where the old intersection would have been. So, we'll do a pan here. You can kind of see how big this switch yard would have been. All the way down, I don't know, just past where that tree is bent over. From just past there. All the way down to the bend in the track. So, not humongous by today's standards, but large enough to get the job done. So anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Dirt Medic out.